Yeah, okay, we're back again. This time with orange juice. You know, that's actually what I first thought of when playing a horror game. Use the orange juice, Lizzo. Use the orange juice. <clears throat> but still. Right, before we go down into that little pit I've just uncovered, I'm gonna go this way because we have the Ponyoin. There's apparently these wrist bracelet things are called. We should. So let's climb up here. Yeah, I'm assuming that. Yeah, this still counts as a blood fall. I thought it probably would. Yeah, these ones are a bit tricky. Also, they look like there's little narrow bands of water caught falling down, almost like their decoration. It means this is a collectathon game, essentially. Never, ever, so they'd be treated as such. They're pretty much always going to be something more important. Surprise! Oh, don't walk around the corner! Ow! Oh good, I've aggroed the guys on the other side of the room for some reason. Your fault. Just so you know, bro. Ow! You all waiting till I turn my back to suddenly leap out from cover? That's gonna get tedious if you are. Unless I shoot you in the face. Brutally and repeatedly. Can't even get over there. There's more Govy over there as well. There's Govy here too, but still. The grass is always greener, the Govy is always more plump and inviting on the other side. Etc, etc. Eat it to the face, son. Thank you. Right. Yeah, I got Govy, I got souls, I got Cadillacs. For, you know, whatever reason. Ow, oh, God. You bastards aggro from so far away. Don't put me even shooting you, really, because I can't get over there to kill you properly. This was um, the room we saw earlier, by the way. Well, I said I had like three Govian. Yeah, that's the first one. Can't recall off the top of my head how we get over to the other side of the room, though. Because we can't just like reach up and climb over, even though that's clearly within arm's length reach easily. So, I don't know. I suppose you could probably. There's probably a jump or some such you can make. I'm just not seeing, kind of deal. Again, I don't doubt the speedrunners of this game laughing at me. You know, assuming they watch more than like 10 minutes of it, that is. Oh well. I haven't claimed to be doing this particularly well the traditional way since I don't remember so much of it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well. It's that kind of professionalism or lack thereof you guys come here for, right? Right? Right. Excuse me. Nah, like a ninja. Or the fishy equivalent thereof. Fuck some more of these things. It's like being in bloody Rusty Bucket Bay. Or Clank Clanker's Cavern, at least, anyhow. No, don't rise to... Michael, don't rise to the surface. Especially seeing as I can't entirely see what I'm doing when you do. It's what's below the water gets occluded. Yet another room I can't really get to. He's not right now, anyhow. Hmm. Guess I can swim up here, maybe? Nope, it's closed off. God damn it. How wouldn't usually security conscious of them? Hmm. That's very unhelpful to me, gents, I'm just saying. Fine. Guess I'll go this way. Right. Don't see anyone just yet. God! Oh, this is going to be like those pissing guys with the rifles early on, all over again, isn't it? It's like, can I get up on... No, there's no side over here to get up onto. Fucking your giant aggro range. Fine. Two can play at that game, sunshine. I can figure out where the hell you're standing, at least I can, anyhow. Where are you? Come out here and fight like a man, demon, blaster-wielding thingy. I can't even see you. Where are you? Oh fuck you, he's in the doorway! Using superior tactics against- <laughs> I didn't randomly collapse to the bottom of the pool, that's something I suppose. So I get punted out here of all places. Hmm. Oh, balls to it. I was thinking, you know, should I save and quit? Call it a day kind of thing, or... Nah. Nah, balls to it. 
It's only a short jog back. I'm never going to bother editing it out, because... I know, I know I normally do with this sort of stuff, but... It's, it's not really necessary. It's going to take me all of, what, 30-40 seconds, maybe, to get back to where I need to be. See? Case in point. I'm basically there. I know it's not particularly edifying for you guys to have to watch me swim through the blade sequence all over again, but... Like I say, it's not going to drastically alter your lives if you have to. As long as I don't bugger this up and end up having to <laughs> go through it all over again. You know, if I start dying, you know, repeatedly and regularly, then I'll start cutting it out, kind of, you know. Uh, let's try going left, just to make sure there's no other turnings I might be missing. I won't point past this game to have different routes just hidden around, kind of, deal. You know. Case in point. I can't go through there, but I can at least see that way. So I know there's another dude on the right-hand side of this pool somewhere. Right, now this time I am going to save the game. Because, you know, even though I was talking it through, I realised if I do have to, you know, warp out and do this all over again, that's going to get tedious, so... Yeah. Save my progress and hope for the best, really. There we go, let's take care of you. Lover that you... Me under the water naturally. Surprise, motherfucker! Tell your friends about me. If you had any. Just pissing die already. There we go. It's more like it. Now, hopefully, he's the only one I've got to deal with. If there's more of them, this could take. well, quite a while. Yes, yes. Okay, anyone? Doesn't seem to be anyone else that way. How about this way? Yeah, it's definitely... Really? You didn't see me? I've had your mates aggro from across entire rooms. And you who's standing right in front of me didn't see me? Really? I thought you were working on a different type of activation. You were have to walk across the threshold of the room for you to aggro. Hmm. Jam it in. When in doubt. Uh. Right, that's probably opened that little hatchway in the water, hasn't it? But first, we have other things to explore. Yes, yes. Uh, dangerous things. Unsettling things. Doggy things. Eat it to the face, dog boy. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can actually go in that water, if that's acid or not. I'm not sure when, at what stage in the game that gets introduced to, as um, a mechanic. Another blood fall though. I can go up that. So we're making progress. We're all busy climbing, take a schlup. Hmm. Always take advantage whenever you can. Words to live by. You know, to a degree at least, anyway. You know. Live by them too closely, you'll end up in jail. That's the same with everything in life. Look, I am helping! Nope, your friend's still dead. Soon you'll be joining him. Ah, what a merry tale of murder and mayhem. There's more, of, of course, there's more of you. Ow! Stop that. Mike, Mike, please, just jump up. Mike, Mike. Oh, whatever. Thank you for locking on to the Gobi when there's a man trying to murder us, Michael. Thank you. Lock on. Michael. Michael. And go. Not too bright, but it gets there eventually, you know. Surprise! Oh, God, Dad, I'm almost dead. Give me your soul. Can barely any energy. We nice could at least get a health top up from the Dark Souls, you know? Perhaps that would be too much if they gave you a health, you know, regen as well as increasing your attack power. I don't think so, though. I think it'd be fine. I wouldn't complain, would you? No? Exactly. Ah, oh, there we go. Got at least some health back. And more barrels. Yes, yes. I should actually be using my voodoo weapons. I keep forgetting to do so. 
don't know if it's forgetting, just I don't really need to, per se. And I like having the uh, health drops from the enemies. I kill them faster without... Uh, eh, whatever. But speaking of um, secondary weapons, you can get like the torture equipment and stuff from this... Is it this level? I think it is. I know you can get the violator from around here somewhere. It's like a sort of razor blade machine gun, and it's amazing. Especially against the final boss of the game. Hmm, yes, yes. I can't remember how you get it though, you need a like, special key, I wanna say? I can't remember how the fuck you get that. Hmm. Oh well. I'm sure it'll all come to me eventually. And if not, there's always game facts, right? Right, right. Anything else in this room? Oh, this is one of the rooms we saw earlier. Yeah, you can see from the control room where we opened the gate here. Like I say, it's all interlinked. Something I don't think they do enough of in games these days. Showcasing things to let you know, you know where you're going, what you're supposed to be doing, that sort of thing. I mean, there's nothing blatant per se. There's no actual dialogue saying, go here, do this kind of thing. But it showed you. So it's a path to progression. It didn't hand handle, it didn't tell you how to get there, just did you know, here's a, a quick preview of the next area, you know. There's some stuff to get, you should probably go there. That was the kind of message conveyed, you know. And it worked well enough. At least for most people's purposes, anyhow. Right, what we get? What do we get? I'm pretty sure that's acid. Yeah, it looks like. Hmm. Hey there, how's it going? Surprise, surprise! Suddenly I was there before your eyes. No good, more fireworks. I'm pretty sure Diwali's over now. And obviously bonfire night was ages ago, so... No one uh, celebrating for traditional or religious purposes. That's just random knobheads with explosives. That always ends well. Hmm. More doors and things to open. This is go, things to see. People to murder. Speaking of which, surprise! Eat it to the face, son. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it to the face, you freak. Nice. Is there anything in this place though? No. There's a Kajak, so it doesn't really count in my opinion. That's pretty much entirely it. Hmm. Not gonna lie, that's disappointing. How about this room? Anything good in this room? Good or bad, in fact. No, just an empty containment cell by the look of it. Hear the chick next door crying, but that's about it. Hmm, yes. Hmm. Picture of scissors on the wall, that's weird. Oh, scissors, that's one of the um, the symbols of the killers. Hmm. I wonder. Is this where uh, the mini bosses were being held before they were re released into life size, unstoppable immortal killing machines? Interesting. Speaking of which, something very badly textured onto this wall, what is it? I've been a very bad boy. Hmm. Interesting. There's a sound bite for all of you as well. Very unsettling. Very unsettling indeed. No! Yes, yes, yes. We lock on, Mike. Mike, please. A waist high railing is not equivalent. Is not equivalent to unstoppable cover. Or unbreakable. You know what I meant. I mean, I'm starting to get tired now and slurring my words and all the usual shit that comes with it. Yeah. As long as I keep making progress, we should be fine. And that should have opened a passageway. Yeah. Let's open that. But in order to reach that, we need to raise the water level. As I recall. How? 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 How now, brown cow? 
That wouldn't be high enough to reach anyway. Um. Hmm. This way, maybe? Aha! There we go. That. Yeah, it should drain the water from there to there. So we can now get into that one. I don't know if it's actually possible to get. Can I change the water level back? No, no, I cannot. Hmm. So I can't get into that tunnel regardless. Water levels are high enough to get in there anyway. I'm in the one in this room where I've just uh, activated the switch here. This water level wasn't high enough to start with, so. Hmm. I couldn't have got up into that tunnel anyway. That's basically what I'm saying. It wouldn't have been high enough. I can't change the water level back again, so. Right. This is the pipe where it all drained. Should, in theory at least, lead me more or less straight back into that main chamber, allowing me to get into the vent or sewage pipe I just opened. Where I go from there is another question. Am I back in the same? Yeah, I am back in the same place. Just came up facing backward. That threw me for a moment. Do -do -do -do. Oh fuck. Ah, I've still got stuff in my hands, haven't I? That usually doesn't help. Right now, down here. And... Onward. Ever boldly onward, I think. You know, considering the sheer output of sewage and blood from this place, it's surprising that there's actually anyone left alive in it when you come to think of it. I mean, really, we're swimming in rivers upon rivers of blood. Fresh blood of that, obviously, wouldn't be liquid, you know? Blood dries out and such pretty quickly. Especially when no longer inside a living host. The fuck? I mean, I turn myself around somehow? I'm not seeing a plat. Guys, I'm not going blind, am I? I'm just not seeing a platform. I'm not seeing a way of getting up. What the hell? Please don't tell me I've hit that wall of uh, progress. That's happened a lot in this game and games like it. You sort of blast along at the feral click and then. Ah, there we go. Where it did happen. It happened a lot when I played um, Banjo Kazooie and stuff for the first time as well. You sort of you skim by really fast, just getting what you need to progress, and suddenly you hit a. Fucking jeez. You hit like um, a level jump kind of thing. Where everything suddenly requires more jiggies or, in this case, Dark Souls and shit to actually progress. Or you need special moves you didn't even know existed, let alone have actually found yet. Ah, here we are! We're in the room with the, uh, true form. They thankfully, of course, they haven't implanted him yet, so he's not going to be a problem at all. So you're going to roll on the floor and die, basically. Surprise, gentlemen! You're quite easy to strafe and dodge, especially when it's a giant monstrosity blocking your shots half the time. Oh my god. Blam, 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 I shot the man down. Shot the man down. Shot the man down. I thought there were three of you. Hmm. Perhaps I'm just getting myself turned around. It's always possible. Disturbingly possible in this game. Now. Time to get. Ah, fuck. Nope, nope, don't bugger up the jump. Don't get stuck, whatever you do. My. Oh, hello. That's the violator. Yes. And I need the keys, don't I? That's the ammo for it. Yes, yeah, two lots of ammo and one violator. Actually, you can get two violators. I can't remember if that's a. Um. A bonus thing. If you find a secret area or whether you have to. Actually, locate. Perhaps it's even a new game plus kind of thing. It's been a very long time since I did this, I can't remember. Speaking of can't, how the fuck do I make this jump? I can't drop in from above, so how do I make the jump? That? That is the question. I, oh, fucking. 
Got to put my stuff away from and hang off the obviously of course. Of course I do. Oh my god. Professional, don't you know? Just stop walking around with two items when I don't need two items. That's not helping. I mean, it's quicker than I can go into the menu at certain points, I suppose, but it's slower overall when I have to keep changing things all the time. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Speaking of which... Well, speaking of Switch in this case. Ah! Bye, doggy. Love you. Anything else? No, doggy. I'm just down below where the retractor was at this point. I don't remember if there's anything important to any of these cells or not. Sometimes the cells are either empty or they've just got enemies in them. There's actually any point in going into them. I'm sneaking the suspicion this is going to be one of those cases. There's absolutely no point in me actually going in. You know? Got it. Yeah, looks like. No point at all. Yeah. You know, suppose it was a bit of a diversion. Something different to do. Speaking of which. Ah, Goby, excellent. Always doing more Goby. I think this is another one, yeah, it's another one we could see from the opening area by going through the pipes. And a couple of actually there's been about four of the damn things I've seen so far, but I have no way of reaching. I'm assuming they're all linked, but as I mentioned, the air vents, which you can only really get into once you've got the marching down. Means I'm going to have to come back here at some point. Oh joy! Always love coming back to the playrooms! Yes, there's the pipe work we swam in earlier. Hmm. I think we're starting to get to that stage of the game where I've gone as far as I can get without having, um, you know, the next set of equipment kind of deal. Yeah, it's just the true form room, isn't it? Uh, I'm starting to run out of ideas and places to go. Right, guys, eat it to the face. To the face. To the face. Your friends are still life draining me, aren't they? Is there anything over here? I think there is now. Alright, cool. Lost a bit of health finding that out, but still. The more you know, right? The more you know. Which mine. Kadyaks. You have almost cut enough to get a health bar upgrade. Wasn't planning to do that, but I don't know, I I've got to go back to the Temple of Life at various points in the game anyway. Once I get, you know, new tattoos and stuff. Because it'll let me get new Dark Souls. Hmm. Speaking of which. Yeah, I think I've pretty much had enough of the playrooms for now. I... Where to go, though? Hmm. See, I'm not entirely convinced that... There's not other Dark Souls I can get from here. I may be kidding myself, of course, but... I don't know. I'm sure there's extra stuff I can get. I can just figure out where to go, you know? Hmm. Go do a bit of exploring. Um, you know, I think I'm probably going to cut it here for a sec. So I haven't really got anything clear-cut in mind, i got to admit. I'm just gonna go snoop around and uh, I'll come back with you know, when and if I actually find anything interesting. Okay? Yeah? See you in a sec, guys. Well, I don't think you have anything interesting back in the playrooms, however, I did remember we actually got some blood falls right at the beginning of the game that I still haven't climbed yet. Now, at least one of them has a Gobi. The other one. Oh, the other one has something as well. It's not a Gobi. Um, I'll show you guys. Yeah, I might as well. I'm not sure I'm actually going to get what's there during this playthrough. But, um, yeah. I'm at least going to show you guys, in general terms, what's there. I'm a lot closer to getting level 6 now as well. Let's see, if I remember correctly, it's 35 souls for level 6. Which is what I need to enter the Temple of Fire and get the uh, Fire Walk again. 
which then will allow me to go all over that side and get all sorts of crazy shit. Speaking of crazy shit, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the only level 10 shadow gate in the entire game. Behind it is one of the, arguably the best voodoo weapons in the game. Yeah, the Kalabasha. That's how you say it anyway. Uh, so it's a great weapon, uses a lot of um, voodoo and stuff, but yeah, it's pretty good. I, I'm probably not going to do it, because you need all 120 Dark Souls from the game in order to actually get back there, so I'm probably not going to bother. Uh, but I thought I'd at least show you guys what, where it is and tell you what's actually behind it, you know? Speaking of which, um, what is it I want to get next? I want to get the flamboo. I think I can get the flamboo from here, can't I? Let me think. I need to go... Actually, you know, the flamboo is at the, at the entrance to Temple of Fire, isn't it? Not Temple of Fire, the, um... Yeah, this is the Temple of Fire, isn't it? Oh, well, I can't remember their pissy names. The point is, there's blood falls here and I'm gonna climb them. Like a boss. Well, I say I'm gonna when Mike finds the exact right spot that he decides I'm allowed to climb. Or a persnickety of you there, Michael. I'm just saying. No, oh, there's at least one more govy up here, which is this one. I thought it was anyway. Hmm? Oh fuck! He ran face first into a fireball. That wouldn't have been a good start. Ah, there we go. See, I knew there was a, a Gobi in here somewhere. So we get that, real quick. The sisters aren't too happy about the being here, stealing all their stuff, again. Get out, my Leroy. Stop taking all that shit. It don't belong to you. Hmm, yes. Probably some social commentary we've made there, but I'm not going to make it. Now... I can't remember what's on this side the other blood for. I mean that one was to go V obviously. I can't remember what's on this side though. Probably something amazing. Or something rather boring and bland. Equal opportunities here in the game that is Shadow Man. No, oh, whatever, right? <clears throat> Is, well, there's pots. I like pots. They hold well. Well, they hold cadillacs. That's not particularly impressive. On the other hand, you know what is impressive? When you actually remember where the damn thing is. The flambeau! Now, I completely forgotten this bloody thing is right at the beginning of this level. Which means I have to do a bit of backtracking. Go put around here. And back to the entrance. Of the Temple of Fire. Just through here. Apologise by the way, you guys are going to see a couple of loading screens. I just realised I've started recording too early, really. Again, you know, I want to really just ramble. I suppose I, maybe I can. I can't even edit it because I'm rambling as I'm saying this. As I'm doing all this shit, so. I apologise, guys, but yeah. That's the way it is. Now. If I remember correctly, the flambeau. I came here earlier as well. Just dicking around, looking for souls and things. Well, we should have noticed this much earlier. So if you go up the ramp here, it's a bit of a uh, pain in the ass to actually get there, but yeah, it's, it's easy enough to see why you don't find it as well. You know, like, if you're just sort of casually jogging around, it's very easy to miss. It's, it's hidden behind a level five shadow gate, which I suppose when I come here, when I first came here, I wouldn't have even been able to open it. So you know, in all fairness to myself, it's probably why I didn't pay that much attention to what I was doing or where I was going. So I knew that even if I did find where the flambeau was hidden, I wouldn't be able to get in there. Not till level 5, anyhow. Uh, if I can remember where the piss... Yeah, there we go. See, there's one of those doors can only be opened by fire. That's your clue that you're on the right track. Rescue conservation. Well, with that, I'm going to see you guys next time because I'm tired. Bye bye, folks.